Once I discovered that we in the building sector were the major driving force behind greenhouse gas emissions, I said, well, are you going to keep doing business as usual or are you going to address an issue that where the planet's at stake? No one in my family had ever gone to college. It was just fortunate that I had played basketball and had bumped into a coach that said, would you consider coming to play ball at Pratt Institute? So I said, well, what would I, what, what, what do you offer? What would I take? For some reason, architecture kind of rang a bell and from there just developed a love for the, for the profession. The connection between architecture and climate change was not widely known prior to about 2003. The transitional moment for me came at Disneyland. I was there with my granddaughter and I was reviewing some material and I saw a graph on greenhouse gas emissions and uh, discovered that the built environments responsible with 70% of all greenhouse gas emissions globally. And once I discovered that, that's when Architecture 2030 was born. So we have a number of programs to educate and train architects on how to design carbon neutral buildings. Rather than just shut the environment out, now the building will be intimately connected to the outside environment. It heats itself, it cools itself, and you're not importing all this energy to operate the building. We set the targets for energy reduction and greenhouse gas emissions reduction in the building sector from now to the year 2030. There are many states that have adopted the targets and the federal government made it mandatory for all new federal buildings and major renovations to meet the 2030 challenge. We can't address climate change unless this community steps forward and takes the leading role. If we as a community decide to move in a different direction, then we can affect uh, a huge amount of change, not only locally, but globally. And that's what gives me hope. The question really is, can we get there fast enough? Uh, because the clock is ticking.